let us solve a problem using lamis theorem a sphere weighing 100 newton is tied to a smooth wall by a string as shown in the figure okay this is the sphere weighing 100 newton so this is the self weight i have represented 100 newton and tied to smooth wall this is the wall there will be reaction from the wall that is r okay always reaction perpendicular to the wall and find the tension t in the string okay that is there will be tension in this string so this is tension t okay angle between the wall and the string will be 15 degrees so by alternate angles you can here see that between this string and vertical it will be 15 degrees here that is this will be 15 degrees right so this is the free body diagram 100 newton self weight this is reaction r from the wall this is tension t in the string now this is a straight line it will be whole 180 degree 180 degree minus 15 this will be 165 degrees to apply lamis theorem always we need the angle between the opposite forces if i am taking r i need the angle between these two forces if i am taking 100 newton i need angle between these two forces right so this is 165 degrees and now the angle between reaction and 100 newton it is 90 degrees because reaction from wall it is perpendicular to the wall and self weight is always vertical downwards so this is 90 degrees now this angle this angle between the tension t and reaction r it will be 105 degrees why because this vertical and this horizontal reaction r it is 90 degrees 90 plus 15 105 okay so now we have angle between all the three forces okay now applying lamis theorem t divided by sin 90 angle between r and 100 newton is 90 so t divided by sin 90 and r divided by sin 165 angle between t and 100 sin 165 is equal to 100 divided by sin 105 whole angle between t and r Sin one not five, so we get t equal to hundred divided by sin one not five into sin ninety. Considering only t by sin ninety and hundred by sin one not five, sending sin ninety on this side, we get hundred and three point five newton. Similarly, taking r by sin one sixty five equal to hundred by sin one not five, so we get r equal to hundred by sin one not five into sin one sixty five, so we get twenty six point eight newton. using equations of equilibrium here the three forces are there one is horizontal one is vertical we have to resolve only the tension okay we have to find the vertical component and horizontal component of this tension okay so the angle is 15 degrees it makes angle of 15 degrees with the vertical right 15 degrees so t cos 15 always where there is angle that component will be cos component so t cos 15 and other component will be t sin 15 okay so vertical component is t cos 15 and horizontal component is t sin 15 now taking summation of vertical forces equal to 0 we know that equations of equilibrium means summation of horizontal forces equal to 0 vertical forces equal to 0 and moment is 0 okay when the system is in equilibrium here moment term is not required we have to use only sigma fy equal to 0 sigma fx equal to 0 so first we have to take only vertical forces here there are two vertical forces that is one is the vertical component of this t and another one is the self weight of sphere that is 100 newton and we know the sign convention always upwards positive downwards negative towards right positive towards left negative right so this is t cos 15 upwards so it is positive t cos 15 positive and this is downwards minus 100 equal to 0 so we get t equal to 103.5 newton that is same as what we got using the lamis theorem right then taking summation of horizontal forces equal to 0 that is sigma fx equal to 0 first this is r okay positive r plus r and this component is towards left so minus t sin 15 
here it is minus so equal to 0 r minus t value we have got that is 103.5 into this sine 15 equal to 0 so we get r equal to 26.8 newton same we have got as that of the using Lamis theorem okay so we can cross verify the same problem we can solve using the Lamis theorem as well as using the equations of equilibrium next Solving the problem using Lamy's theorem, find the forces developed in the wires supporting an electric fixture as shown. Okay, so here it is given that AB and BC. Okay, there will be tension in these two wires, and here it is 150 Newton weight is there. Okay, so let us say that the tension in the wire AB is T1 and BC is T2. First we have to draw the free body diagram representing all the forces and reactions. Okay, And this is 150 Newton. Using the alternate angle here it is given with the vertical 45 degree here. I have drawn it same. If I draw an vertical over here. So this will be 45 degree. Same I have represented here. This is T1. So if I draw vertical here this angle will be 45 degree. Okay. And here it is given 60 degree. This. So if this is 60 degree alternate angles this is T2. In BC T2. T2. So that will make an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal. So this is 60 degree. Okay. So using the Lamis theorem we can write T1. T1. First of all Lamis theorem means what it states that Lamis theorem states that if the forces are in equilibrium, if three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium, then each force is directly proportional to the sine of angle between the other two forces. Okay, so T1 divided by angle between these two, that is T2 and 150. Here it is 90 degrees, so 90 plus 60. Then T2 divided by sine of angle between T1 and 150. Here, what is this angle? We can see that if this is 45, this will also be 45 because totally it is 90 degree. So, 90, this angle is 90 plus 45 is equal to, this is 150 Newton. 150 divided by sine of 45 plus 30. Okay, so T1 by sin 150 this is 90 plus 60 150 t1 by sin 150 equal to taking this term 150 by 45 plus 30 75 so sin 75 which implies t1 equal to 150 by sin 75 into sin 150 equal to 77.6 newton and t2 by this 90 plus 45 is sin 135 is equal to 150 by sin 75 which implies t2 equal to 150 by sin 75 into sin 135 that is 109.8 Newton. The same problem you can try to solve using the equations of equilibrium as well. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.